Hello Leo and welcome to your December 2021 general reading. You are watching Energy and Star Sign readings with myself, Thomas Janak. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, like and share the video and um, yeah, let's get on with it. <laughs> what we will do is we will actually um, loosely divide the video in three parts, um, with them being firstly the overall energy. So let's look at the overall energy um, of the month December for the star sign of Leo before we then move on to your emotions which could be um, the guides the guides highlighting trauma that still needs to go that sits somewhere or maybe they're talking about love right so that's the emotional part that will come after the overall energy before we then lastly go to opportunities which is all about things that sustain you financially and other things you may have to look at that are not covered in the overall energy and the emotions, right? And um, every time I record, I shuffle the cards just to make them fresh. And um, when a card falls out, it wants to be read. The card that fell out for you today, Leo's, is the raccoon. And what that means before we go into all any of the other um, messages here, is the raccoon is known as a shapeshifter. And so what they're saying to you is no matter what life throws at you in December, you will just be fine. You will manage, you will adapt to situations even when you feel like, whoa, didn't see that coming, <laughs> that sort of energy, even if it is heavier. Um, ultimately, what the guides are saying is, you will adapt so no need going into panic if that makes sense and um, maybe they're looking at it at the overall energy level as well but um, that was your first message if that makes sense so now let's go right in here and um, have a look at the overall energy for the month of december 2021 for the star sign of leo Well, that's, that's, I like that. <laughs> you have the lion, the snake, and the owl, right? So, the lion, the snake, and the owl. I won't show you all the cards, it just takes, takes way too long. But, how this works, it works is, I always put three cards down, because three is the number of progression. And because we have three cards there the one in the middle becomes the most important because it's surrounded by two other animal guides therefore the energy is amplified um, so we're getting a little more about that being and um, it is also the most important um, for that section of your reading what is interesting about all this is that leo which is a planet that is governed by the sun which is why I try to put the, <laughs> the, the, the fire sign on here, right? You are governed by the sun and your, your collar is golden. So there's a, a collar that, that um, corresponds to, uh, to you energetically speaking. But the first animal guide that came in is the lion itself. And the lion obviously is... The, your star sign, well, your star sign is represented by a male lion. And the depiction here is the male lion. And that isn't even the main message. What they're saying to you is, and I think this probably has to do with the raccoon, where they're saying is, you know, whatever comes your way, you will adapt. So maybe you do have to adapt to a certain extent. But the lion is saying, right, not only does the lion have courage and strength, which... He literally gives to you uh, because it is your star sign so he's reminding you of your strengths especially your inner strengths and he's saying to you try to be sounds weird that's just the way I get it um, try to be life affirming regardless of what life actually throws at you because ultimately um, to a large extent it is your energy that gets you through things. So the lower your energy, the less options you have 
to fight, typical lion language here, <laughs> right? Ultimately, the lion shows up here to give you support. It's your very, very first star sign for the reading today. I think that's bloody awesome. The main message, however, is the snake. The snake is the animal of protection and healing. And when you go to a pharmacy, you see a snake around the cane. And what they're saying to you is, this is going to be a month where it is important for you, again, no matter what life throws at you, um, to look at your overall health, see how you feel, because remember, if life is stressful, it will reflect also, uh, and even when you're unlucky, it might actually manifest as an illness, if that makes sense. <coughs> so all the guides are saying is um, make sure you look at your overall well-being, you look a little bit at your health, um, but also you need to realize that the snake is an animal of transformation. And so you're going through changes and they are coming, which is why the lion gave you all that strength, right? Um, and all they're saying is, you know, whatever can go now, the snake shed its skin. So maybe it's time for you to actually look at situations that, that do not work anymore. And, you know, I'm not trying to tell you what to do, what to do because you have free will, but the way they are, they are showing it to me is for you to, to really assess what is no longer serving you and let that go. Right? It's another important thing here because um, I'm getting the energy of friction and the snake, you know, regardless of how it is portrayed in the media and in religion, um, the snake is a really, really intelligent animal and it's not nearly as aggressive as people want us to believe the snake is because if you find the snake you know, you know, somewhere in the garden, of course, you know, when you, when you get too close, she will probably not be happy and retaliate. <clears throat> Point is, you give them a way out, they will take it. A lot of snakes are actually always on the periphery um, of, of walkways and even gardens, because a lot of them would need stones to propel them, if that makes sense. So, <clears throat> When you find them in the middle of a field somewhere, um, they're either looking for food, right, or they're literally lost. So all the guides are saying to you is, since the snake also manifests your energy, do not engage in hostility, right? You make your peace with the situation, you decide what situation and or people apparently um, can go but you do not overly explain yourself, right? express yourself, yes, but not explain yourself, um, <coughs> because you have the snake and the lion. You don't have to um, overly express yourself. The feeling that I'm getting is that, you know, some situations and some people might deserve an explanation, but energetically speaking, it is much better if you just let go of things that are not working and when you yourself feel calmer that's when you then can begin if you wanted to to express yourself because your outgoing energy is the owl right and so <laughs> the idea is with the owl the more she hears and sees the less she talks <laughs> so the owl is an animal that draws an auditory map to to locate the mouse in the undergrowth so she can go there without getting caught in the undergrowth. So the less you are attached to situations, the easier everything will work for you this month. So this is December, this is all, you know, Christmas and um, positivity. The way this, this part of the reading works is that Christmas is irrelevant with regards to your healing. You shouldn't hold, put anything on, on hold for it. If you begin to reflect and you find yourself in situations that aren't for you, then what I'm getting is, because see, I work with animal guides. Animals don't say like, well, I'm feeling shit now, but I have to wait until the 2nd of January or something, right? Because I don't want to spoil anyone else's Christmas. 
if you're not happy, right, then obviously you shouldn't be there. And this also sounds much harder, much harsher than it is or when, than it is meant, but, and I also, this is a general reading, so it might not necessarily resonate with all of you, but the energy, especially in the beginning of this, because it, we're still at the overall energy, is for you to literally don't suffer fools, right? So, and I only work here, don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> here we go, that was the overall energy for the month of December 2021. Uh, for the star sign of Leo, you are watching Energy and Star Sign Readings with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe and share. Um, it's not a lot of effort for you to do that, but it means a hell of a lot for myself. Let's move on into your emotional area and let's see what we got for Leos. Let's see what we got for Leos. Okay, <laughs> ah, here we go. You have the bull, the rabbit and the bear. Remember, the rabbit is the one in the middle, so we will pay closer attention to that animal guide. The reason why I said ah, <laughs> is because the, the overall energy was somewhat difficult and somewhat in your face. And with regards to your emotions, the reading starts off with the bull. So that's another symbol of saying, you know, enough is enough. And the bull is all about territory. You know, so it's always so the lion. So it is all about making sure you and yours are sort of safe. Um, because, and also the, the bull is also about renewal. And that can only be achieved when you realize you need some quiet time, maybe some me time, and you put people in their place, right? That does not have to be aggressively, but the energy that I'm getting is that it is immediate. You know, if the bull shows up and you're in on his side of the fence, there will be trouble. So my feeling is that, that with regards to your emotions and everything that sits there, because it doesn't necessarily have to be done to another person. This is also about what, if there is something that you have been carrying around for a long time, um, and it bothers you and it burdens you, you know, you have, this is, sorry, this is just the way they show it to me, grow a pair, right, and get it sorted, look at things, take charge of your life. What is then important that we're moving to your middle card, which is the rabbit, which is the most important of the three, with regards to your emotional turmoil, your emotional core, anything to do with emotions, once you begin to put people in their place and make sure that your territory is safe, the rabbit is saying, I have all these rabbit holes here at my disposal and they all go for miles. And I can choose either one or maybe one after the other, I explore all of them. So the, the way this sounds to me, therefore, is that you don't have to be afraid that doors are closing, right? And if they do close, then obviously that's only temporary because you need to then start manifesting new beginnings. But I have to say the way I feel it, um, I, I, the way the energy is being given to me, um, because with the rabbit in the middle, what they're saying to you is trust that you have the right to really make points in December and speak your truth. Um, and the likelihood is that more doors will open than will close, right? <clears throat> and then the over, uh, the outgoing energy, excuse me, the outgoing energy for this part of your reading is the bear. And the bear is all about healing. So when you free yourself up a little, when you let people know that you have boundaries and you look at maybe new beginnings or at least changes, that's also when you have a little bit more time to realize that was a heavy task that probably took some doing. Um, and then what the, what the universe is saying to you or what the guides are saying to you is don't hide your emotions. 
try it all out in Native American law, you know, tears are sacred medicine. Um, so allow yourself to grieve for whatever is now loosening up or even um, leaving you. Um, and allow yourself to go into healing. And if that has the shape uh, or takes the shape of a uh, healing response, we used to call it a healing crisis because it bloody is, <laughs> right? Um, all the guides are saying, or what they're trying to do is to encourage you to not underestimate how much you, you, you still carry inside you as grief and as disharmony and as a, a trauma of sorts. Um, that doesn't leave you just because you rectify situations that aren't working. It sits in your system and it has to go. And all the guides are saying is don't make this a thing um, of the future. Allow this to happen as it presents itself to you. Right? So, ah, Leo, nothing easy so far um, <coughs> with regards to your reading, even though it might not be all that bad because the energy that I'm getting is, is really lion energy. And they normally are quite cool. But you enter their territory and you pull their tail, uh, you know, once too often, you're toast. And I think that's what I'm, what, what, what the guides are saying to you is, right? Enough is enough. Reflect and act, right? So, finally, let's look at your opportunities in the month of December 2021. If you like my work, this being Christmas month and all, <laughs> you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. I would love that. Here we go. Let's look at opportunities as they present themselves to you lions in the month of December 2021. Right. You have three things. You have the spirit of challenge, you have the hunter of mysteries in the middle, and you have the spirit of truth as your outgoing energy. With regards to opportunities, because it starts with the spirit of challenge, my feeling therefore is that it is not so much about you just saying, well, instead of going here, I might go there. It is more that you have to, to challenge yourself to really Look at the things that really interest you, even if you feel you don't have the skills yet. Because once you realize what you want to do and where you want to go, right, you focus on your goal and therefore you then really look at what is doable here. What can I do to get there? And that probably because you're then, you're then really um, motivated. You will probably start looking at what it is you need to do because when you have the spirit of challenge oftentimes that means you also need to realize that you have to put the work in um, so that the universe understands that you're serious about stuff right um, and then things can come to you because the hunter of mysteries is the one in the middle now the hunter of mysteries is nothing else um, but saying to you right you're still looking let's just say you are very happy with what you do, right? Very happy with what you do. Because you have the hunter of mysteries, what they're saying is that that doesn't mean it has to be the end. So if you're like me, you know, and you're self-employed and you're doing these things, every now and then I feel like, oh, I want to change things. And when I say that, I open myself up to new teachings. So eventually you get a bigger toolbox. So it's not necessarily all about um, massive changes to jobs or, in, or for, forever, or for instance. Um, but you have the hunter of mysteries in the middle, which means your soul is still looking for being fulfilled. Now, since the male lion represents your star sign and therefore your energy, and the sun is obviously your governing planet, and the sun, to a certain extent, I think she takes up about 98% of space, so it's very hard for you to at times move about, right? <clears throat> Unless you really become the lion again and become determined. And so there's a lot about your personal determination. Interestingly enough, your outgoing energy is comparable to your 
immediate future because as far as we are concerned your future isn't written what is written is cornerstone events so there are things that you probably agree to that you're trying to get there and what the guys are saying is well if you get there then this and this and this that has been put in place can happen so growth can happen when you reach that point for instance right but these are all in your imprints so um maybe have a look at your birth chart um but because your outgoing energy is the spirit of truth so what all that does is to say i'm still looking for something is to literally find who you are and that's worth pursuing right anyway merry christmas <laughs> Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please share it numerous times. Even if you think, I don't know any other, other Leos, I don't care. Please share it numerous times. It is a monthly video. So if you like the video, share it numerous times within a month on your page. You never know um, if other lions or other Leos um, will find it there. Or maybe someone else who sees your post knows a lion or a Leo and shares it. Right? Because obviously um, this is all spirit-led, but I'm really uh, trying to reach more people, which is probably a human endeavor. But um, it would be um, awesome because obviously it's important for me because I believe that the guides really make sense and they are a bit kick-ass guides. I like that about them. Uh, so they bring about real changes when people actually take that seriously. So do not withhold it from others. Right? <clears throat> yeah, that's all I have to say. See you all hopefully next month, which would be January 2022. Wow, time flies, right? Leos, goodbye.